The Alfa Romeo Milano is a small crossover with up to 254 miles of WLTP EV range. Welcome to Evepedia, your daily source for all the latest and greatest in the world of electric vehicles. In today's video, we're diving into the most exciting news and trends shaping the future of sustainable transportation. From groundbreaking innovations to market updates and everything in between, we've got you covered. Let's jump right in. It sits on the same platform as the Jeep Avenger. After the demise of the combustion-powered Alfa Romeo Mito subcompact hatchback in 2018, the Italian automaker that made a reputation for itself by offering some of the most stylish cars on the market had a hole in its portfolio. That hole has now been filled with the launch of the new Alfa Romeo Milano, a B-segment crossover that's based on the same E CMP2 platform as the Jeep Avenger and Fiat 600. Just like its Stellantis relatives, the new Alfa Romeo Milano will be available as either an EV or a hybrid that combines a 1.2-liter, three-cylinder turbocharged engine with a 48-volt lithium-ion battery and a 21-kilowatt, 28-horsepower, electric motor integrated into the six-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission. In total, the hybrid Milano makes 136 horsepower. The all-electric version of Alfa's subcompact crossover goes by the Electrica moniker and is powered by a 54-kilowatt-hour battery pack that enables a maximum combined driving range of 254 miles on a full charge on the WLTP cycle. Two versions of the Milano EV are offered. The base model has a 156-horsepower front-mounted electric motor, while the go-faster Veloce trim ups the output to 240 horsepower, but the car remains front-wheel drive. Alfa Romeo said that an all-wheel drive version will be available sometime in the future, but only on the hybrid. Besides getting more power, the Milano Veloce benefits from extra sporty front and rear anti-roll bars, a 0.98-inch lower suspension compared to the base version, big brakes, 20-inch high-performance tires, and the same limited slip differential as in the upcoming Abarth 600e. Alfa Romeo says that the Milano also has the most direct steering in the segment. Charging the diminutive EV can be done from a DC source at up to 100 kilowatts, with the Italian automaker saying that going from 10% to 80% state of charge takes less than 30 minutes. Meanwhile, the onboard three-phase charger is rated at 11 kilowatts. Designed by Alfa Romeo Centro Style in Turin, Italy, the Milano features a rather aggressive front fascia encompassing a so-called 3 plus 3 headlight system with adaptive full LED matrix lights. On the electric version, the grille features the company's logo cut into it, while the hybrid variant has a more traditional grille with the Alfa Romeo script. The Milano measures 164.1 inches long, 70 inches wide and 59 inches tall, putting it in the same league, size-wise, as the discontinued Chevrolet Bolt EV, which is roughly 3 inches taller than Alfa's crossover. Unlike the Bolt EV, however, the Milano will be strictly a European affair with no plans to bring the souped-up hatchback stateside. Inside, the new Alfa Romeo features two 10.25-inch screens, one that acts as a digital instrument cluster behind the steering wheel and a touchscreen that's the gateway to the car's infotainment system. In the EV, the infotainment is connected to the internet and provides real-time information about over 600,000 charging stations across Europe. The Italian automaker claims the Milano has the biggest trunk in its class, that's the B-segment EV class, with 14.1 cubic feet of cargo space behind the rear seats. There's also a charging cable storage bay under the hood, a 180-degree rear camera, and all-around parking sensors, as well as a series of advanced driver assistance features that translate into a Level 2 capable vehicle. In Europe, customers of the Alfa Romeo Milano Electrica will get a complimentary wallbox charger from Free2 Move Plus an e-card that can be used for contactless payments at charging stations. Pricing hasn't been officially announced yet, but company boss Jean-Philippe Imperato hinted for Autocar that the Milano will start at around €30,000 in Italy. Thanks for tuning in to Evepedia. We hope you enjoyed today's episode and feel more connected to the electric vehicle world. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update from us. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and what topics you'd like us to cover next. Until next time. Keep exploring the future with Evepedia.